channel. It's cold. As you can see, I put it on with Facebook and other, but anyway. Uh, wife's car got hit. I waived all insurance because they want to total it. I'm going to fix it. That's going to be its own little series because it destroyed uh, the rear uh, suspension on this side. I don't know if it got the rear diff because it is a four-wheel drive at first. But either way, it's still a very good ride. High mileage, but a really good ride, and we want to retain it. But I went ahead and got her into this one here. This is an 07 uh, Odyssey 3.5, same basic drivetrain as this right here, a VTEC. Vroom, vroom. And uh, it's got its own issues. Uh, it's drivable. I didn't get to record it because I was under the gun. I was hurt trying to get it done. I threw an alternator on it. That was the only problem to get it running. It's on there. It's it's on my. Uh, I'll probably put some pictures on it of the work and maybe a little video. I, I don't know, but I know it's on my Facebook. But uh, it does need a master cylinder. Uh, it's drivable, but I know it needs a master cylinder. I'm going to get one ordered. Um, I went ahead and did a rush job. I had to get the doors working. This one, the rear sliding on this side, did not work. Uh, it just bound up because. The bushings, excuse me, the other rollers were completely shot. So uh, I went ahead and made some of those real quick, threw it on there, saved $150 because I did both sides. Uh, it needs a windshield. We're going to get that. I didn't realize it until I saw from the outside because uh, I can't see that from the inside. I'm short, barely see over the steering wheel. Uh, she detailed the inside yesterday. It looks brand spanking new. One other issue it has is every once in a while the front blower works when it wants to work. So that's why I'm recording today. So uh, let's dig on to that. Uh, watch it not fail for me today, but we'll try. So you turn the key on, y'all can witness me if this ain't working or not. It's not working. I'll feed these cats here in a minute. They are just, it's cold and they're nuts. And I've gone through probably 20 pounds of food in the past week. But uh, this is, i uh, give you a little tour here. Uh, it's nice, really nice. Every, everything works, of course, except the blower. So, uh, let me turn the rear one off. As you can hear, is not working so blowers down there blowers down there right inside there is I believe the blower resistor relays outside under the hood and the main uh, fuse and uh, so let's pop the hood and see if it's a fuse first I mean uh, fuse and relay just not fuse because more than likely it works when it wants to so more like that's not a fuse unless it, it's just a bad connection so it is freezing out here, so sorry if I'm uh, running around. Uh, uh, if y'all work on cars uh, and you have it running, run, roll the window down. I don't care how cold it is because uh, you don't want to lock your keys in there. Don't get your back on the tripod and we'll access that uh, that panel. Yeah, I know the engine bay is dirty. I got some... Uh, some um, engine cleaner it's just cold out here it's really cold it's like 35 degrees and uh my dna don't like that what we're gonna do is get y'all closer kind of angle y'all in here a little bit This is the blower relay. Uh, that's the 40 amp fuse for it. And unless it's just a bad connection, I don't think this this little helper would get that out. Oh, it might. Yeah, it does. Unless it's just a bad connection, it's not going to be your fuse because it works sometimes. Sometimes it doesn't work when fuses are blown, completely blown. All right. So what we're going to do here, we'll put it on high.
trust me, it's on high. And what this does, when the key's on, I can hear it click. So the relay is working, as in the primary coil's working. The secondary, we don't know yet. So let me just see if that, that works. No, it's not working. I'll roll down the window so I can get around better. So, let's go ahead and remove that one real quick. And you can short across them too. And I'm gonna test it against the uh, rear defrogger relay. So it starts working now. No, it's not, but the best way to do this, to get around this here, is it goes in like this. I'm going to short across those two pins. Oh, it took me a minute. I had to make one. So let's short across there. Let's see if it's on. No, it's not on. I'm going to leave that there just in case something's intermittent and y'all know the drill. All right, so let's move into the cab. All right. I'm going to bring y'all in. We can just take this panel off right here. Oops. We're going to take that panel off right there. You can see you just pull on the front some till it comes undone and it's got those little alignment pegs that go inside like that. I'm gonna move my wife's Bible bag. So hopefully, see now there's a the blower motor and in the center of the screen right up there is a blower resistor. So, so we got a bad connection. There, we just beat it and it works. I'm gonna yank that blower out. I'm gonna yank that, well, focus, boy. I'm gonna yank that blower out and we're gonna do a little greasing. I'm gonna try to fix it. So give me a minute, we'll get it out and get it on the bench. But all it is is just a couple little bolts and it comes off, no biggie. I'm gonna warm up first, because I'm freezing. Hey. All there is to it. We'll take this off and then screws might lead us to something. We might be able to get that motor assembly out so I can take a look. It feels a little stout, so it should probably just, a, it won't get started because it ain't got enough start torque to get through that. We'll just take a look because it's a butching issue.
pull it out. Thought it was going to be a fan, but no, something is pulling out. I think whatever in there is pulling out. back in and put a little more torque on it. smell blind so I'm just curious if that comes out that direction this doesn't this comes out this direction why well I'm doing this hell of this so I can figure out what's going on right here This is the spring loaded and it pushes against it. Not find it out. Pack on it. Apart, but it's got those funky little one ways on it. Ooh. Side. I've been telling myself to buy new ones. I think 
go over ahead and order me a set tonight. But I'm gonna blow this out to the best of my abilities, and then I'm gonna just spray some penetrating oil through there, and kind of free that thing up. But that's the problem. And see, with all that matter there, I think we'll all agree what could be also the problem is commutator and brushes. It is a true uh, DC motor with commutator and brushes. So. I know what people call wobble pops. You got my age, you got the beatus, these are wobble pops. Get that blood sugar going, you wobbling. Whew. Clean this up a little bit. I don't want to dip my arms in this. Oh, this is my good. Uh-oh. I'm gonna be in trouble. She's not out here, so I'll throw in the dirty clothes, you'll never know. Blow this out. Oh, got a good view right here. Let me see if I can show y'all in there. She got a picture window. Of course I can't see it. Need all this. I'll inspect and then I'll inspect with y'all. Alright. There's plenty left of the. Let me blow it out and I'll show y'all. Alright, I'm gonna try this. We're gonna see how it works out. But you can see the brush right there. The brush right there. There's plenty in there. I'm gonna check spring pressure on it. I know I'll get some hate mail if I don't do that. Check spring pressure on it. <coughs> Excuse me. Ah, boom. Need a little better to get behind that one. in that impregnate it's designed to be for dust situations dirty situations so as you can tell the crap that come out of it more than likely that's in there with it it's gonna have to be flushed out so i'm gonna throw some power on her speaking of that i gotta charge up my jump packs that failed me when i was doing that off the bed. Maybe to flush some stuff out or maybe get a little more oil in. So that's my story and I'm sticking to it. What is that? Engine degreaser? Well, that didn't do me any justice. <clears throat> Not particularly what I wanted. Hey, degreaser's pretty good. I had my hand on 
carburetor cleaner, moved that out of the way, and apparently it came over here with me. Guys, I'm just gonna work this for ways and I'll bring y'all back when this thing is definitely better. By the way, it's Happy New Year's. Today's the first. I'm trying to knock this back out because I got more work to do. I gotta log in and get some more work done. So, uh, time is limited. Oh, well, that already feels better. I need to hang a feather on it. Definitely worked right there. So, uh, let me check this up and put a little more on there. Dare to put your tongue on there. tilt it and do all kinds of stuff with it. Love this stuff. Learned about it working maintenance many years ago at a hospital. Love this stuff. And of course, we will talk about why that got over here. There we go. Clean some of this stuff up. Wow. Go in the bow head. Found this roll in the uh, Odyssey I was working on. Well, my wife found it, I mean. So, score. Save $2.99. Alright. Let's see what we're going to do. What going to do is. I'm going to blow this out. Alright, she blowed out. It's got a little knurling in there, and that's how it got in there pretty easy. And I know it's going to fight me, so. A little bit of white lithium on those knurling. It's going to slide on down pretty easy. Err, easy err. This goes this direction. Boy, you gotta get that straight. If you don't get that dead on, dead nuts on, yeah, you got a problem. Because the pins are a little offset. Wouldn't that be 
be bad as bears. I can't guarantee you that went in. It didn't break nothing. Let's find out. That. We don't talk about Bruno. Right I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Compensating. All right. Try it again. Watch your fingers and toes on this. One oh, just blades on there. We're gonna put all the torque on it. Rebuilt. Where are my little screws right off to? Oh, half a little screw there. I need to get some stickers made with my logo on it. They want a they want a toe and a knee some of that some of that stuff. That's all I got left is decent knees and toes. Well, I don't know about all that. Though. All right. Manufacturing in some of these Chinese places, I guarantee that. Gotta have some fancy stickers to stick on this. Y'all know me and stickers, we'll find one. Hold up. explain why I call my channel Vata Local 256. If I was to say Local 256, you would think that's a union. Well, I'm a union in one, Latino background, so Vato Local 256. It's a one, one Mexican union. Yep. That's too easy. Oh, what's that? Don't be tripping. 
flip it. Tag. No dirty rats. They won't even say that online. Nope. Sorry, I buy these kits and I, I can't help some of these. They're, they're, they're funny. I ain't gonna lie. Ooh, what's this? Infectious waste. Oh, perfect. Perfect. <clears throat> Sorry, my son called, uh, diagnosed a bad cold pack on his Kia yesterday days ago, I can't remember, and he's just not getting around to replacing it, and he already forgot which one I told him, was replaced the wrong one, and wanted me to diagnose it over the phone, and I told him to replace the wrong one, so he forgot within like a day and a half, so uh, the apple does not far fall from the tree, or how does that work out, something, yep, squirrels, I got a whole family of them, my wife didn't know she was marrying squirrels. We're, we're nuts. All right, let me go wash up my hands. And then uh, we'll slap this puppy back in. Cross the fingers up for the best. That's all we can do. Make sure there's no cats in here. Whew. Get this back in there. All right, it's in. All right, let's put it back together under the hood and we'll test it all as a complete unit. As you can see, it's not always difficult. Sometimes they're hard to get to. You know, I don't know what the blower costs, 59, 159, 599, I don't know what it costs, but the bushings were good, they wasn't wore out. The uh, Tommy Tanner brushes look good, and there's plenty of brush life left. Just, I just like to rebuild them. It's just, you know more, I, it came out wrong. You gain more knowledge, and you know it just it, it'll help out on the next job you will understand what's going on so hey I like doing it so please like subscribe share with your family and friends whatnot uh, I'm gonna slow down on making some videos I got plenty to publish uh, excuse me I have plenty to edit to publish but uh, I said, I'm trying to spend more time with my church and family. So uh, I think about doing one about every two weeks instead of one every week. We'll just see how it goes. And it's cold out here. I ain't got much room in my garage. So uh, I'm going to be picky on what I do because it's got to fit in the garage unless it has to be done out here. Or I've just got a real hankering to like work on the CRX or put some gears in my truck or valve stem seals. Boy, she needs some valve stem seals. But either way, uh, I don't know. I don't know what the future holds. But uh, I do it for fun, and I do it for y'all. I don't do it for me. I don't make a dollar off this. So, uh, like I said, please like, subscribe, and uh, God bless. New Year. I'm getting too old. Lords. I can't see. I got, I got to use the light off there. So, later. Whew.